Hello, my friends. Welcome, welcome. I hope you had a beautiful 4th of July, now that it's the 8th of July. <laughs> I'm going to double check to make sure our sound is working this time because it is. Um, I attempted this class, which I normally teach it on the first of the month every month. I attempted this class on the first, did the whole thing, and then um, one of our amazing community members pointed out to me that there was no sound. So I taught the entire class and had no sound. I apologize that this is a week late in getting out to you, um, but we were off the grid for the last few days or so at our family property up north to celebrate the holiday and escape a little bit of the heat. Um, and we decided just to kind of lean into that. So here is your deeper dive class. If you are brand new to our community space or we haven't met yet, my name is Kelly. I am one of the founders here at Team It's Essential. And usually on the first of every month, I bring you this class called a deeper dive. We teach this class so that you have a little bit more knowledge and information around the products that are on promotion each month with doTERRA. They change every single month and I never know what they're gonna be before you find out. So we get to find out together, which is really exciting. And I want you to be armed with a little bit more information, some actionable usage tips, um, some safety hacks, and a few of my favorite ways to use the products so that you can make an informed decision as to whether or not you want to add them into your toolkit. So we're going to jump right in. To start off with, every single month, doTERRA offers us a free product of the month to those of us who are existing customers, which is really cool. This is another huge benefit of ordering on what we call the LRP, or the Loyalty Rewards Program. And that's when you're doing a, a monthly order, and that order can change every single month, right? When you do that order, when you place an order this month, by the 15th of 125 PV or more, you're going to get a free bottle of fennel. If you are brand new, you have no idea what LRP is or the Loyalty Rewards Program, head to the unit section here in this Facebook group. And under getting started, there's a whole bunch of videos for you that you need to know is like a basic just to jump in to get ready to be um, an essential oil expert and especially learning how to leverage your new account. There's a whole video in there for you on LRP, how to get started, why it's important. You can cancel at any time. There's no hidden fees. There's no monthly minimums or anything like that. Um, but I do recommend that if you ever want to uh, qualify for some of these freebies that you go ahead and get started on that now. You'll earn points back and you'll also have a chance to get free stuff, which is cool. So if you decide to do a 125 PV order before the 15th of the month this month, you're going to get fennel for free. I'm really excited about this month's promo because I had already planned on teaching a virtual class all about the digestive system this month called the Perfect Poop. That's going to be happening next week. That's going to be on um, Monday the 13th at 2 o'clock Eastern time. I'll post about it here and I will also share the video here into our group, but go ahead and kind of jot that down. We're going to talk about all things digestive health, especially with our elimination system, and we're going to go there. And both of these oils are incredible for anyone who's struggling with any kind of digestive issue. So we're going to talk about fennel first, and then I'll move on to our second um, uh, oil that's on promotion this month. Fennel, and we actually have a sweet fennel. So I love this oil because it doesn't have a really bitter taste. Like if you purchase fennel at a grocery store and you add it to a salad, sometimes it can be kind of bitter. Or you know, like the fennel seeds that sometimes they'll put in a lot of um, like curries and Indian dishes. Our fennel oil is really sweet to the taste, which is really nice if we're going to want to take it internally. I love using fennel for any kind of digestive upset. So whether you have some nausea going on, um, it's really great for colicky babies. I would just rub, dilute it heavily, rub a drop on their tummies and on the soles of their feet. Um, super awesome if you have any kind of like menstrual issues or PMS. This is something we don't talk about is what happens to our digestive system when we're on our cycles as women. And I think it's something we need to talk about more. So we're gonna definitely chat about it in the perfect food class next week, um, but definitely use your fennel if you struggle with any kind of like bloating, cramping, gastrointestinal issues, especially during your cycle um, or PMS issues. Great for cramps and spasms in general. So maybe you have like muscle cramping due to like overuse or, you know, that's just how your body is, low back cramping, or I get some like neck cramps every once in a while. I think we're just sitting at the computer all day long. Try a drop of fennel, maybe add some frankincense with it or some papaya to really help to uh, drive those oils deeper into those tissues. Fennel is also one of my favorites for breastfeeding mamas or those with low milk supply. So you might have already heard about making like lactation cookies, but one of the main ingredients in a lactation cookie is fennel seeds. You could actually do something similar with your fennel essential oil you can cook with it. I recommend taking it internally in a capsule um, rather than rubbing it topically onto the breast because baby is going to be there unless you're pumping uh, predominantly. And we want to make sure that it's diluted enough for baby. So 
um, add it to the soles of your feet is great or take it in a capsule. Um, you could dilute it down with a little bit of olive oil or some MCT oil if you wanted to, but it should be fine to take um, by itself, just meat in a capsule as well to help with, um, with breast milk supply. I learned this as I was doing research for our class. Fennel can also be used for edema and fluid retention. So I know I struggle with that a little bit in the summertime, especially here in the Midwest. It's super hot and humid and sticky right now. It's like 97 out there with 80% humidity. It's like walking in a sauna all the time. And my fingers start to swell. So this even happened to me this weekend. I couldn't get my wedding rings off. Um, and normally I don't take them off, but they were getting uncomfortable. So I used fennel and a little bit of cypress. I glued it down with some coconut oil, rubbed those on my fingers, and it helped to eliminate that fluid retention. Just remember, anytime you're trying to decrease any kind of edema or swelling, you want to massage whatever oils you're using, massage them towards the center of your body. So when I was massaging my fingers, you don't want to massage up towards your fingertips. You want to massage down towards your hand. Reason for that is I can massage all I want, but if I'm trying to push fluid out of my body, I don't have like sweat glands on the tips of my fingers that are going to help to release the fluid, right? So I want to push it down into my body, drink tonnes of water so that my kidneys, my endocrine system can do what it's supposed to do and flush all of that out. Um, same thing with my, my sweet Nana has, um, she had some fluid retention in one of her ankles from breaking it many, many years ago and just having a really bad break. So when I go visit her, typically I use cypress and lavender. And now next time I'm going to grab some fennel too. And I massage up, up her leg towards like her thigh um, to get it as close as possible to her trunk area where all those organs are to help flush it, okay? Fennel can also be used for coughing congestion. It's going to be not as intense as like a breathe or wintergreen. So maybe really great for a toddler or a baby, or if you just don't like the smell of some of those, um, like that menthol-y kind of eucalyptus-y sort of scent, I would try some fennel. Also really awesome for blood sugar imbalance. So this might be someone who struggles with like a blood sugar condition, or if you just know that your blood sugar kind of like has weird peaks and valleys, I would take this in a capsule or in, um, in a drop of, of water. It can also help with sugar cravings. One of our oilers, um, my mom's dear friend and mine now too, of course, Kim, shared with me, she did our Candida Cleanse program a couple of times. We, and we'll be watching, I'll be doing that again for you all at the end of this month, so stay tuned. Um, but she shared that she likes to do like a little nighttime nightcap drink where she'll warm up some almond milk, some um, unsweetened almond milk and add a couple of drops of fennel because it does have sort of a sweet taste to it. That's going to help to nip any of those maybe late night sugar cravings in the bud, help to balance your blood sugar um, and also really help emotionally too. Fennel emotionally is the oil of responsibility. So it can move us from feeling kind of unproductive to really like flourishing and thriving and doing all the things. Um, I grabbed this book. This is one of my favorites, as you all probably know, if you've been here a little while, it's the Emotions and Essential Oils book. Um, and it shares with us that fennel can support our ability to listen to like the subtle messages of our body, which I really love. You know, I talk about intuition all the time and listening to your body and paying attention and dropping in. So it really helps us to um, connect to our body's natural signals, especially if you've dealt with any kind of um, eating issues. So whether that's overeating, emotional eating, binge eating, uh, dieting issues, even so far as like substance abuse, fennel can, can actually assist with that emotionally. So I would use it in the diffuser. I have it going today, actually. I decided to, to see what I could figure out. I have two drops of fennel, a drop of ginger, two drops of wild orange, and some sandalwood in the diffuser right now. It smells really, really yummy and amazing. Um, fennel emotionally can also help us if we're feeling kind of like just a lack of desire or an unwillingness to take ownership, feeling kind of shameful, if we're, if we're in a shame spiral, we're going to put on some Brene Brown and rub some fennel over our heart, right? Um, and just really kind of feeling like we're, we're disconnected from our body. So use your fennel. If you have it in your cabinet like I do and it doesn't get used very often, maybe this is the month that you challenge yourself to find new ways to use your fennel. Um, I'll post some below this video here. I'll post some diffuser recipes for you for both fennel and ginger in case you just kind of want to start getting getting used to it that way. But please feel free to post and share if you've got a favorite use for fennel that I missed um, or something that works really, really well for you. We'd love to hear it. So that one is free to you by the 15th of the month when you place your 125 LRP order. So make sure you gonna go ahead and get on that. You have about another week or so to take advantage. And then next up, the Terra always offers us an additional discount every month. Sometimes it's 10%, sometimes it's 15%. Typically, it's 10% off of an oil. So this month, it's additional 10% off of ginger. So as you know, you as a doTERRA customer and everyone in here is part of our customer group, you already save 25% off of anything. That's what I pay. That's what all of our leaders pay, right? And then doTERRA gives us an additional 10% off of an extra product every month. 
So this is how I was able to really build up my collect my personal collection pretty quickly is I started ordering on the LRP. So I was earning points back on every purchase. And that's why I bought a lot of my higher priced oils that I maybe wouldn't have spent money on, like frankincense, sandalwood, helichrysum. And then I always order enough to get a freebie. And then I almost always grab the 10% off item of the month. Ginger is an oil that I do use quite a bit. And actually I'm running super low. I do not have an extra one in back stock and have maybe about a quarter of the bottle left. So I was really grateful when it was on promo this month. So an extra 10% off ginger, and that is for everybody. So that's for new customers as well as existing customers, whether you order on the loyalty rewards program or you just do a single one-time order completely up to you, but you can snag this for an additional 10% off. Let's talk about ginger. It is steam distilled from the root. So you've probably seen ginger in the grocery store before, even if you've never used it. It kind of looks like a troll toe. I have some in my freezer. I should have brought it out for you. I love ginger root. I cook with it all the time. I make ginger tea all the time. When I had a bathtub, I would actually grate fresh ginger using a microplane into my bath water because um, it really helps to detoxify the body. If you're feeling kind of crummy or run down, I will create, I will grate fresh ginger into like a Home Depot bucket or my sink now since I don't have a bathtub living in an RV. I would not put ginger into your bath water unless you can commit to only doing one drop. Because remember that our essential oils are 50 to 70 times more powerful than their herb or plant counterparts, okay? So even though I normally grate to like, you know, about a tablespoon or so of fresh ginger into the bath water, I would not use more than one drop of ginger essential oil in the tub if you're trying to really detoxify. The reason is this is gonna feel really, really hot and tingly, especially in your pink parts when you're sitting in the bathtub with all that heat, you're opening up your pores with the moisture, right? It's not gonna be super comfortable. So you can absolutely use ginger for detoxification. I would take it internally for that or dilute it and apply it to the soles of your feet and over your kidneys rather than put it in a bathtub. But I do love ginger so very much. Our essential oil is steam distilled from the root. You've already experienced ginger if you've used our Digest Zen blend or Slim and Sassy. Fennel is also in the Digest Zen blend too, FYI, um, which is really awesome and why I'm so excited that both of these kind of happen to be this month when we're talking about all things digestive. Really important. Um, it blends really well into, into the diffuser with lots of things. So I'll often throw ginger in with like wild orange or even lang lang or spearmint because I really love the, the sort of spicy notes that ginger brings out. And it's not so spicy to where it makes me think of fall. So it's really great to have going on in the summer as well. I also love a ginger for any kind of upset tummy stuff. So great for new mamas, morning sickness, nausea, motion sickness. And um, you could add a drop to the diffuser. You could add a drop to your palms of your hands and breathe in. Um, I love to make a mocktail with ginger. In fact, I posted on my Instagram and Facebook feed a couple weeks ago, a recipe for like a ginger kombucha mocktail. I will make myself a note and post that below this video as well in case you want to try it out too. Um, so I really love ginger for that. It helps. It's like a tonic for the digestive system. Also super great for memory and brain support. So for that, I would take it in a capsule. You could dilute it and apply it to the back of the, the neck at the base of the brain there, maybe with some DDR prime or some frankincense. Um, also helps ease the cravings, especially when it comes to any kind of, a, of an alcohol or drug addiction. So both of these can be really helpful if you're dealing with any kind of substance abuse or recovery from that. Um, also helps with blood sugar and hormone balancing. So if you've been following anything on my personal social media pages, um, or with my brand, you know that I've recently been diagnosed with Hashimoto's disease, which is an autoimmune disorder that affects the hormones, affects the thyroid. So I've actually added ginger to my thyroid blend, just two drops in a 10 milliliter roller bottle, because again, it's going to be very hot. Um, and I will share more about that as I sort of like tweak and fine tune. Um, I wouldn't want to share a recipe with you that I hadn't kind of tested out myself personally. So right now I'm working with it, but I have added ginger to it um, because I learned that it can help to balance hormones, which is really cool can also help with any kind of congestion, especially when it comes to like laryngitis or sinus stuff, which again was a brand new information to me, but it makes sense because we'll often use digestin when either of us, my husband and I are feeling really congested. If we get the creep and crud or even during allergy season, if we're feeling really blocked up here, we'll dilute some digestin and put it around the sinuses or breathe it in. Makes a lot of sense for me because it also has, it has ginger in there and it can actually help to kind of drain some of that, which is super cool. Um, this was also new to me. It can help with broken bones or sprains. So what I would do is I would dilute this and apply to the area, maybe with some deep blue, some helichrysum and lemongrass to really support the bone structure there. And then also maybe look at taking the bone nutrient complex internally, um, as well as probably some turmeric capsules to help with any of the inflammation and pain. So lots, lots of uses for ginger, which I really love. 
it's been used as a medicinal herb for centuries. And you can just do a quick Google search of like, you know, uh, natural medicine uses for ginger and see all the different cultures across lots of different centuries that this has been used for. So um, it's got lots of benefits to it, which is really cool. Emotionally, this might be my favorite use for this oil um, and probably why I, I'm gravitated towards it a lot. Ginger is the oil of empowerment. And if you've been following me for a while, you've been here, you know, I'm all about teaching you, teaching other people how to step into true ownership over their health and wellness and just take charge of it, right? So fennel is going to help us take responsibility and move out of apathy into action, right? Ginger is going to help us feel really empowered. So it's going to help us move from feeling kind of like blah to really activated and into it and um, just taking agency over what we have going on with any aspect of our life. Um, but here, of course, we talk about our natural health and wellness state, right? So again, I'm using this book, this Essential Oils and Emotions book to give you this information, but um, ginger can help us feel really committed, very capable, purposeful, accountable. So it's going to help us move out of those feelings of like stuck or blaming other people or victimhood, um, which can be really easy for us to step into, especially for dealing with something like a chronic illness, you know, or hey, a global pandemic where we feel kind of helpless, right? Ginger will help us to feel a little bit more empowered to do what we can within the four walls of our home and in our families to really empower ourselves. Um, I'm going to read for you just a, a brief little passage from here that I love. It says, Ginger addresses deep patterns of victim mentality, which is evidenced by feelings of powerlessness, believing everything is outside of our control. Victims feel stuck as they decentralize or disown responsibility and blame others for their misfortune. So if that's you, don't throw any shame on yourself because we've all been there and we go through these different cycles. I know myself, I've certainly thrown quite a few pity parties for myself over the last few months, so I totally get it. Break out your ginger, pop in the diffuser, make yourself a little ginger mocktail. Um, honestly, you could even detox while you retox and add ginger to like a hard seltzer or maybe make a cocktail with it, right? Um, there's actually probably a lot of recipes out there you can find that use fresh ginger in a cocktail. So try your ginger essential oil um, and see what happens and let me know how it goes. So again, 10% off ginger for this month. For fennel, when you do your 125 PB order on the Loyalty Rewards Program by the 15th of the month, and then lastly, we have a super cool promo going on this month for brand new customers. So that might not apply to you here in this group, but it probably will apply to any of your friends and family who you think might be interested in getting started with essential oils. Any purchase, any initial purchase of $150 or more this month by a brand new customer gets that new customer $50 in do 50 doTERRA dollars to spend in the future. Normally, we kind of go off PV. So if you've been here a while, I might say, oh, you have to do 150 PV enrollment. We've kind of gotten rid of that, which is super cool for our new customers to make it easy. So my favorite starter kit, which is the top 10 oils, and it comes with the improved diffuser, the pedal diffuser now, um, is about 160. So that will qualify someone to hop in with the diffuser, their top 10 oils, uh, the better diffuser, top 10 oils, and they'll get $50 free. So it's kind of like spending $110, if you will, on a starter kit and getting $50 to spend in the future. So it's an awesome deal. I'm also offering a 30-minute free coaching session with me, private coaching session with me in addition to their welcome call for any new customers this month. So if you do have anyone in your life who would like, who you think would take advantage of this or who would be open to learning more, feel free to send them my way. I would be more than happy to chat with them and see, um, see what we can do for them. All right, I hope you all are having a beautiful start to your July and that you are staying cool. Use your peppermint spray. Let us know if you have any questions or if you find some really fun uses for ginger and fennel. I will definitely be seeing you on Monday. I'll see you before then, but I'll definitely be seeing you on Monday at two o'clock Eastern time for our class all about the perfect poop. It's going to be awesome. You're going to want to be there. And I can't wait to talk about all the things with you. All right, you guys have a good one. Bye.